Okay, now let's look at synthetic division. Now, synthetic division can be thought of as the same thing as polynomial long division. It's just an easier method in some instances. So, the way to think about it is it's an easier way to do polynomial long division. Now, to start with, we're only going to do synthetic division in this class when you're dividing by either x plus some number or x minus some number. So, for example, if you're dividing by x plus 7 or x minus 3, you would use polynomial long, you would use synthetic division. If you're dividing by, say, 2x minus 5, you could do synthetic division, but we're not going to do that in this class. When you're dividing by 2x minus 5 in this class, we're just going to use um, polynomial long division. So we're looking at problems dividing by x plus or minus a number. Let's look at an example. We have 4x to the third plus 8x squared minus 3x plus 7 divided by x plus 5. And what you're going to do here is you're going to do the division bar, but you're going to do it upside down. Now this is going to seem a little weird, but if you get the process here, this becomes a very easy way to do uh, long division problems. Now, we're only going to do this when it's an x here, plus or minus a number. So you're going to take this number right here, but you're going to change the sign. So this is a positive 5, so you're going to make this into a negative 5. And now what you're going to do is you're going to write down all the coefficients, but not the variables, in order. And if there's one missing, you're going to put a 0. So there's x to the third, you're going to put that there. And that's x squared, so you can put an 8 there. And then there's an x, so that's a minus 3. And that's a 7. And there was nothing missing, so x3, x2, x, and the constant. Now what you're going to do is, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this first number here and you're just going to write it right there. Let's repeat that step. You take this number right here and just write it there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to multiply negative 4, I'm sorry, negative 5 times 4. So negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. And now what you're going to do is rather than subtracting like you did in polynomial long division, you're going to add. So you multiply and then you add. And 8 plus a minus 20 is a minus 12. Now you're just going to repeat that step until you're done. First you're going to multiply. Minus 5 times a minus 12 is a positive 60. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add. So a minus 3 plus 60 is 57. Now you're going to multiply 57 times 5. I actually can't do that in my head. So I'm going to go 57 times 5. 5 times 7 is 35. Carry your 3. 25, that's 285. And that goes there. And then you're going to add. And that's going to be 292. And this first number here is going to be your remainder. And this is going to be your number, and this is going to be your x, and this is going to be your x squared. And that's, you're done. Now you just have to write the answer down. It's 4x squared minus 12x plus 57 plus the remainder. So that's 292 over x plus 5. And you're done. Now it takes a little bit of time to get used to this process, but when you do, this becomes a very fast and easy way to do long division. Let's do another example. So first we need to know, we can always use polynomial long division. You, you never have to use synthetic division. Polynomial long division will always work, but this sometimes is a much easier way of doing it. So let's look at what we're dividing by. If we're dividing by x plus a number or x minus a number, this is probably going to be the easier way of doing it. In this case it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the division bar upside down. I'm going to put a 2 here. 
Now, let's think about it whether it's positive or negative. This is a negative 2, so when we're, doing poly, when we're doing synthetic division, what we do is we switch a sign. So if you switch a sign from a negative, it becomes a positive. Now you're going to write down all these numbers, and if there's one missing, you're going to put a 0. So that's 2, then it's minus 3, and then it's 2, and then it's minus 4. Now I'm going to go pretty fast here, and you can just slow down the video if you need to, because it does go fast. That's the point of this. It's easy. Take the 2 and put it there. Multiply, put your answer here, and then add. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's put it right there. Let's add. Minus 3 and 4 is going to be 1. Now simply repeat this process until you're done. 2 times 1 is 2. You're going to add 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Put it there, and let's add. Minus 4 and positive 8 is going to be 4. This is your remainder. This is your number. This is your x, and this is your x squared. Your answer is 2x squared minus x plus 4 plus your remainder, which is 4 over x minus 2. And you're done. Let's do a third example. Sometimes the problem's written like this, it doesn't matter. This is x cubed minus 6x squared minus 3x plus 1 over x uh, divided by x plus 2. Do your division bar upside down. You put a 2 there, but let's think, is that going to be a positive? No, that's going to be a negative 2. This is a positive 2 here, so you put a negative 2 there. And then you put the coefficients in order. If one's missing, you put a 0, so that's 1. Minus 6, let's see, 3, 2, there's not one missing, so that's minus 3, and that's going to be a 1. Now that's how you set up the problem. The very first step is you take this 1, you put it there. Then you multiply, put this number here, add. Multiply, put the number there, add. Multiply, put the number, add, and you're done. Let's go. Minus 2 times 1 is a negative 2. Minus 6 times... Minus 6 plus a minus 6 would be a minus 8. Minus 2 times minus 8 is a positive 16. Minus 3 plus 16 is going to be 13. Minus 2 times 13 is a minus 26. Let's add this. That's a minus 25. You're done. This is your remainder. This is x and this is x squared. That's the number. Some people, some teachers will teach us a, a diff, slightly different way. If this is x3, this will be one less. This will be x2, x, x to the 0, which is 1, and the remainder. Same thing. Your answer, x squared minus x, 8x plus 13 minus 25 over x plus 2. You're done. There's three examples in synthetic division. Um, remember, you can always use synthetic division um, if you're dividing by x plus a number, x minus a number. There is a more advanced method that you can use synthetic division, but we're when, in other cases, but we're not going to do that. With polynomial long division, you can always use it.